Hello everyone, welcome along to the Hindsight Podcast. I am Yubi, and so I'm doing of it. I'm joined by the regulars in the studio, the king of the Lamba, IBK Sports, <laughs> aka the Aquibon Pichajuri, you know, one day. <laughs> and of course, we got the uh, man who knows everything oh, or like two about um, Nigerian football, Des. It's really good to have you here. I'll tell you a funny story about Des, right? I've been chatting with Des for maybe three years, there about, uh, uh, maybe three years, four years ish, three years. but never met him before. Never met him before. And I don't think that I didn't even feel like I never met him before because we're like we're always having you know, conversation exactly. back and forth and stuff. Oh, even man. though he tried to call me out on a on a Peter Wee tweet uh, a couple of days ago, <laughs> which <laughs> which we know which I did not ignore. Actually, I actually responded and no, um, responded. yeah, I responded and I I put I put in slay. It was actually Des that ignored me because he didn't want to go that way with me, right? But it's good to have everyone here. Um, I not, totally... not not many win that battle. <laughs> not many, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not many. Not many. Uh, shout out to everyone on my Twitter uh, feed. I, so I, I always get the sense that with my Twitter, it's almost like an alter personality from my Twitter to my Instagram. Instagram What's the problem, yeah. Wally? Should we take out? Are you comfortable with your headset there? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's, 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 come on, Wally. Wally. No, no, no. Are, you, are you old? <laughs> no, how old are you? No, no. <laughs> how old are you? How, no, no. how old are you? Show age, Mini. Show age, Mini. Right? Right, um, this is you know, the de- deal de- de- for our podcast. This because I don't, I don't turn that cup the first time. You turn that <laughs> this, like, really, I don't know. Say, hey, what's happening? There? Conflict like, of interest, hey. <laughs> you know, sign on disclosure somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't turn the cup, you turn that back. I turn that, you turn that back again. You don't turn that cup again. <laughs> Mario's no disclosure with you, like, <laughs> no man. Um, I don't, we had five cups, so Henry. <laughs> Henry broke one of our cops, right? <laughs> um, but yeah. Look, I was saying, for Wale, you know, that's Wale comment. So, Instagram, Twitter, right? I feel like I have, my Twitter is totally different from my Instagram. Because my Instagram, mostly, my stories are always like, random. Yeah, 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 come ready. I mean, come ready on Twitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know. <laughs> I mean, see, if I wake up like this, uh, and I see my title, I see Peter of this story, <laughs> I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know they argue. <laughs> you get on there. I see you with the follow person they drag. Early morning, you know. <laughs> Peter will be up. I don't leave. I leave that on me. Continue my giveaway. There, there. <laughs> we're working. We don't they give shishi. Shishi. We don't they give. Come down, no, man. Anything. I, we don't they give anything. Oh, well. But um, yeah. Uh, so I always tell. So for, especially for. For and I'll, I'll tell you this, for babes I follow right, and I'm I'm very nice on maybe nice on the DM or whatever it is. If you go to my Twitter, I never say follow me on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I never ever say follow me on Twitter mm-hmm. because that's a totally different, very volatile, very mm-hmm. passionate. Volatile is not the right word. Very passionate. Sometimes mm-hmm. too much. Um, but yeah, um, my Instagram is more is more friendly. If you go to my Instagram story now, you find me um, with a funny hairstyle. Or jogging, or um, you can find me buy something in traffic. It's, it's more accurate uh, that more for for more sellable content, right? But it's good to have everyone here. Um, IBK, I saw you yesterday, albeit on a different platform. Um, you said you lost a bet of eighteen million or something like that, no? No, it was it was supposed to be about six m. Six m. Yeah. Right. Who That's, caught them? Juventus. Who caught them? Now one of those baseball baseball people. games. Please. Yeah, please. If, if you bet, <laughs> please. If you're a punter, you bet in games, please. Make sure that Juventus does not find its way to your ticket. <laughs> Juventus have a funny way they posture. The day you play Juventus, say that Juventus, the game will be 2.5. Maybe Juventus are playing a weaker opponent mm. and you feel like there will be goals in the game. Mm. You even think that because they don't defend so well, Juventus will score. Oh. They will score against Juventus, so Juventus will score two and win. Yeah. You play two point five <laughs> that day. Juventus will win the match one nil. They will win the match one. Bro, nil. do you know the surprise one? That the portal. day you play that Juventus will win a game. You now say, ah, last weekend you play Juventus to beat Sal- Salernitana. Straight win, easy game. Juventus at home. Juventus will now draw. They will now wait for the last minute and they play two two. You don't say, okay, Juventus, don't win the match. Right. Don't play 2.5. <laughs> Just don't lose the match. Win or draw. Benfica, step forward. Juventus will lose. I have not seen a team that useless. No, I, I, so I don't even... 
These days, I don't even touch. I don't touch Juventus or anything. Uh, yeah. I, I, even I don't. So I, 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 don't I don't bet a lot. But when these chaps, you know, start <laughs> throwing around betting codes in the group, I have to like, you know, you know how, you know how I say because it's, very, it's always very painful. Ah, you go, no, I don't go fit try, I don't go fit cry. So once I don't see, once I don't see betting code, I go play. Make you say, I see you don't that car lot. Me, I don't enter car lot. I know what. I will be inconsolable. <laughs> So I know the money you come yeah. big. Ah, you will win. The money no, no, no. come big again. Ah, yeah, bro, it pain. You, you will not just cry. You will win. But, pain. but speaking of but, but, but speaking of money, right? Uh, you know all these funny accounts on Twitter that um, put out tweets saying, you know, if you you know waking up at five a.m. will change your life. Someone replied on the tweet and said, why are everybody for League of Duty for this? <laughs> 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 well, like, you know, I keep telling people like all these funny things people tweet. You know, we like, up by four a.m. We up by four a.m. Do this, you know, like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Like, at least, Exercise. at least half of Lagos go just did the lot. <laughs> <It's> easy, <laughs> you know, like it's not, it's not, it's not really, it's not, it's not really that hard. But easy. actually, I didn't, I didn't actually used to believe that people wake oh, up that early. You nah. know, I, I never used to believe it. People Until I, I needed to be out by 6 a.m. So I had to wake up by before 5. So yeah. I'm in the bathroom. I'm cars are passing. People are making noise. No, like, I got out of the house 5.30. Goodness no, gracious it was, me. It was, it was like... Se- I was scared. Like, like 8 already. Where did you people go to? Or are you going somewhere? Or are you coming <laughs> back from somewhere? Or, no, four, ten, four, ten, four in the morning. People, like, some people do this every hours. day. Bro, when, oh, when, yeah. I remember when I was in Ikorodu then. Some people move from Berik Bear. That place is very, very far. Yeah. And they they walk on the island. Bro, wow. they wake up, they wake up as early as 4, 4 a.m. and they, they leave the house by 4 30. And they still have to get to work like very early. Yeah. So and they do it practically from Monday to Friday. Baba, how you yeah. won't take reach. It's, cra- it's, cra- it's, cra- it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. If if you don't live in Lagos, right? Um and you listen to the pod, right? If you want to move to Lagos, make that choice very <laughs> deliberately, right? Because one thing about God is that like he will not let you live in Lagos unless you have wronged him. <laughs> <laughs> but people are making money, I don't, know if, I, don't know if, I don't know if you saw that tweet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, how? I know. I, know. I think at some point in time, someone needs to explain to me the thought process behind tweets like Tweet, that. Bro. You see? The, as in, no, no. Nigerians are incredibly... Like, I don't think... The humor... That's why if I find someone that doesn't that you, their humor is not good, mm-hmm. I don't think we can necessarily be be right. everyday bodies yeah. because I because it will be there are things that I will say will go off your head. Mm-hmm. Like I like like you know one thing about God is that you know, they won't let you stay in Lagos unless you I said you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you one or two, all of us were here. <laughs> you know, we don't do God, <laughs> right? But uh, it's all for the best, no? It's all for the best. But uh, thanks for being a part of the show. Um, we totally love that and. We're putting some new things together. Hopefully, we could uh, we could spring some today, and uh, we can make a great conversation all the same, right? I didn't want to spend too much time on uh, the uh, UB musings, so we have to jump into the next uh, the, the important conversations, right? Let's start off with. Um, I'm sure you've seen a story about uh, Todd Bowley and the All Star conversations, and you know North versus South, all that stuff. I thought to myself, it wasn't a big story, and I didn't feel like it was something we want to talk about. But obviously, off the back of a a one-week break in the Premier League, there is not a lot to talk about, frankly, right? And the Champions League group stages, I always feel like Champions League group stage is more about... Let's, let's it's more get about, It's more about match day five and six, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Than match yeah. day one and two. Honestly, I don't care about match day one and two in Champions League. I, 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 I rarely watch the games, right? I could watch the highlight, but I'm not going to race from somewhere or work <laughs> to go to watch, go watch yeah, a yeah. match day one game. It's, uh, it's, 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 all, it's all the hype. But um, I think that the major resistance that has come uh, from, you know, Todd Bowley's uh, comments is, one, because of who has said it, how it's been said, and when it's been said. I think that both parties, the messenger and the people receiving the message are a bit arrogant yeah. in the way they yeah. go about their business. You know, I think Todd Bowley is, I, I won't say arrogant, I'll say overly exuberant. Right and doesn't read the room. The people who he's trying to sell the message to are also very conservative, and a lot of times people talk about cons- conservatism as um, people not wanting to, not wanting to be flamboyant. That. Yeah. But that's always <clears throat> not the case. Sometimes it's just being close off to ideas. Yeah, right. Yeah. Just are being sure? close off to ideas. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so 
the British media, for a fact, have a standoffish a- approach to Americans, for example. Yeah, 100%. right. Yeah. Which is why if you see, you it's know, an unwritten rule. It's an, it's an, it's an unwritten rule. Yeah, it's an unwritten rule. They're maybe more lenient to, let's say. You know, Italians. Yeah. Um, I got that from uh, from a nice movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Italians is one of these uh, mob movies. Arabs, but, you or, yeah, or, or Arabians and stuff. Exactly. But I think that with Todd Bowley, the problem was you just got to the Premier League, right? And you just bought a football club. You've uh, just fired the manager. <laughs> and After two or three games. After two or three games, you haven't quite sorted out exactly how you're going to run the football club. And you've gone ahead and made that statement. I don't think the statement is a problem. I just think that he needs to understand the people he's trying to communicate with. Yeah. And mm-hmm. sometimes that could be the key thing in communication. Sometimes you, I want to tell Ini something. I know that Ini is had he had a thicker skin than, let's say, Swimpy, for example, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Obviously. <laughs> right? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but I want to make a joke at Rufai. And I know that Rufai has a thicker skin than, say, you know, Wale, for example. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> right so i need to find a way to to communicate that right i need to saw that coming but um yeah um so it's more or less acceptance of who makes the message so for example if a guy like if a guy like um let's say what's his name Sheikh Mansour. not Sheikh Mansour. i mean that, that, would, that, would, that would be rebuffed rebuffed um if the guys who owns who who's an english guy that owns a football club in the uk um, um, or if an englishman say say gary neville okay proposed yeah. North and South, or the All Star Game, people will be like, "Hold on a sec, this is revolutionary. It's it might be a chance idea. to, it might be a chance to evolve the Premier League as we know it." Is a time, the term they like using a lot, right? Some, someone like Daniel Levy, or someone like or someone like Daniel Levy, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, Dan Levy. Or they, they find him to be shrewd, and mm-hmm. they find his business model to be to be efficient and you know, in many ways very effective. So they could have said, "Oh, this is coming from a guy who we like." Yeah. So I thought that um, Bowley wasn't quite appreciative of the space he is he's working in but also um his choice of words too yeah, you, know, of, you know because yeah. when 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 you've gone and said you know that maybe the the premier league can learn a thing or two from american sports and it goes back to the points you made you know british people don't want to be seen to be learning something from american sports yeah. but in all honesty you know everybody in the room would accept you know if, if we're being honest everybody would say that proposal from Todd Bowley would be great. It would be absolutely great. Great in terms of, you know, finances, because he talked about, you know, the All-Star game where they made $200 million. The Premier League would be absolutely delighted to make that kind of money. But I totally agree with you, but he needs to realize that you haven't, you don't have the capital yet to make statements like that. You know, you're just a new guy in the building, you know, you're still getting I, I, used to your surroundings. Thing is, I, I, I don't agree with having to spend, you know, 10 years before you can make... No, no, of course. It's, it's, it's not the opinion, amount of right? time. It's not the I'm amount just, of time. Just, just, to, just to add, add on that, um, Karaga, there was something Karaga said. He was like, Todd Bowley comes into the Premier League. He um, takes charge of three games as mm. the new owner of Chelsea and he fires his manager. Mm. So it already shows that he doesn't really know what he's doing. That was Karaga's Karaga mm. angle. So he's like, I mean, a, a, a guy who doesn't even know what he's doing is coming over to our country to, you know, to propose mm. propose a new model that is not necessarily... No, I, so, 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 so I think it's a yeah. deliberate attempt to sell Bully, right? His image and persona as a guy who isn't... Who's arrogant. Who is no? Who, who's a uh, who doesn't know what he's doing? Mm. But, Th- I, but, but I but I already use this word violent. That was the reason. But, but I keep it, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I keep I keep saying that. I don't think that it is possible eight out of ten times that the guy who's a billionaire yeah. doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. They can be they can be off the cuff, they can come off as erratic, but a guy who's a billionaire, eight out of ten times, they know something about something. I remember when, obviously right, when, they know something about something when, and when, how about, about making money. When, when yeah, Abramovich okay. bought Chelsea that time, I, I, you know, they were talking about these same English people, you know. They were saying he sacked about uh, how many managers in space of ten years, mm. but now you look at you know we spoke about the ruthlessness of Abramovich when it comes to sacking managers and getting results. As long as you know, look at Chelsea and Man United in the last twenty years, mm. the more successful club is obviously Chelsea. Of course, yeah. And of course, why why would you say that? Is the fact that Abramovich has he understands the game. He knows that. 
See, the guy actually sacked Frank Lampard. <laughs> and and, and in, 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 you, you know, he, he had an and English, English, you know, the English, they, they feel that there should be there should be a part where you have to pity, you know, on no, the job. In, 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 and, and, and that's the problem. There's, there's actually an argument to be made that the Premier League itself is, is like an American model. Because why did they scrap um, the old English league system mm. to bring in um, 20 clubs I mean that that that. Oh would... yeah, oh yeah. I, I, I understand where you're going, but I don't think that. I think that the two models, the European model of football or sports in general, yeah. and the American model of football because because of the, sports. The end game of the Premier League was to create more money for a, a selected few, which is what Americans do. I don't think so. So, to create more money for twenty teams that have a chance of being relegated, two, three teams have a chance of being relegated, and three come up yeah. every every now and then, right? Yeah. What the Americans have, their their their, fo- their their sporting ecosystem is built off number one parity, franchises and and finance. So they have close leagues. The NBA, the Western Conference, and the Eastern Conference are close leagues. Nobody gets relegated. Nobody, nobody gets, gets promoted, promoted. Right. Mm. So that in itself is a distinction same between the same between the same models. Same thing with, same thing with football as well. Yeah, with yeah, the MLS yeah. as well. But what I think about the All Star Game um, is is this. I've seen people say that, for example, there be there are too many games on the calendar. You know where do you fit that game in? Off the top of my head, I can count six football games in Europe that are pointless. <laughs> one by one, Community Shield. <laughs> I think it's a pointless game. Is, why no, is it pointless no, in England? I thought, okay. I, I, no, it's what, a charity what, game, no, so it's not. I, I, no, 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 why, why is no. it pointless in England? And, 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 and it's not particular to England. I think the the the, 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 the equivalent, cups. yeah, all the, the equivalent all of the that leagues, across the leagues, yeah. super are, are irrelevant. Yeah, super what is the point of playing a community shield between Liverpool and City when there's the potential that in the FA Cup last year, City knocked out Liverpool to win that cup, mm-hmm. and in the Premier League. City actually beat Liverpool to win the Premier League. The Premier League. Why are we duplicating that game again? To what end exactly? Right? Or you can say, oh, for charity, to raise money. But I don't want to spend time on that. Same thing with the DFB Pokal, the winner of that. Same thing with the Super Cup, yeah. the Europa League, Champions League. It's a waste of time. Every time I've seen the All-Star conversation, I've seen, oh, there are too many games in the shadow. Right? And there's no point, there's no space in the shadow. But I think that there are many games that can be scrapped. So let's move on from that, right? I think that to create an All-Star game, is a brilliant idea, but not the all-star in the Premier League. The all-star game idea is great, but I think that it's not great for the Premier League to happen alone. I think it would be great across leagues. So you would have <clears throat> Italian Serie A merge with the Bundesliga, merge the all-star with the Premier League, merge with the French League, merge with the Dutch League. So I think that as opposed to having a Premier League all-star team, what I'd rather is have an European All-Star game. Because that way, you don't have anybody cheating anybody in terms of the breaks. Because if the Premier League has an All-Star game in the mid-season, they keep playing, other leagues take a break. Which becomes a disadvantage Should when the Champions League resumes. Because resume, yeah. they play too many games. So that diversity would also come in when you have other leagues. This is this is this is something that came off my mind. It's on our test I think, I feel, don't, you're I think it's, it's a lot better than having I feel, because, it, you got, I, feel I feel I feel it will be better between English teams because I mean in recent years um English clubs, English fans, majority majority of fans in lower leagues. Yeah. Like in the championship league one league two, you've seen a lot of clubs go on, go on administration mm. because of finances. So what if you have I mean you have the best um, the best, let, let's say, um, the FA picks a captain. Let's say someone like Ke- um, um, Kevin De Bruyne and Mohamed Salah. And Mohamed Salah picks, you know, he picks another player in another team. That person, uh, that um, player picks another person on that team. You cannot have players from the same team. And at the end of the day, you form a 22-man squad. Then the game, the the the, the finances from 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 that game. Goes to goes to um charity um, yes yeah, no not charity goes to the lower clubs yeah, speak to the mic if, if, if exactly clubs. exactly so goes to I, lower clubs I, I think which is an an idea that we can experiment with I think it's uh, I think we have to be open to experimentation I think that you know you know I've, I've seen this this you know the, this picture on Sky you know taking teams from you know the north northern side of England and but I think it's very imbalanced you saw it right <laughs> you know it's very imbalanced <laughs> <laughs> you know taking teams from the southern parts you know I think it would be great let's let let's just open our minds up and talk, Boley also talked about we do playoffs for teams coming from the championship to the Premier League 
how about we do playoffs for the teams no. going being relegated? That, now, now, that's one I now, don't like. now, I don't like that one because it takes away the drama of you know teams scrambling for points because teams can say you know what there's playoff there's playoff you know so we don't need to be excited you know we can we can sort it out in the playoffs you know so I want that drama I want that drama. So, by the way, if you're just listening or you're just joining us or you're watching on YouTube, um, leave a like on the video just so that uh, we can have the video uh, recommended to more people to see it. Also, leave a comment on your all-star propositions, what you think would make a better uh, viewing experience for the fans. And um, yeah, it's a global thing. Well, so don't, don't let anybody say, and let nobody come in the comments and say, oh, it's their league, so you can't tell them what to do. No, I think the Premier no, League is, is well. quite global. Yeah, yeah. And, even, and even they admit, no, Premier League I, is, made, is made what it is by the diversity. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah I subscribe for it too. I must, <laughs> have, I must so, have my own seat. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Don't, let, don't, 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 don't let anybody in the comments bully you and say, bully you and say, oh no, it's not. I mean, but like, speaking of which, right, I think the Nigerian, like, you see all of this, right, all these great ideas is something we on my radio show have told you know, the people who run Nigerian football for a long time. The league in its current format is not achievable. Yeah. The 20 team system is not achievable. The, ge the geography of Nigeria is not achievable for a 20 team system. You can't run a national league, right? You have to run a league based on revenue, willingness of the people, of investors to invest in a region. You're, gonna, you're not going to force an investor to invest in a team in the south if he's fundamentally from the north. And he doesn't. So if I see a club that I think I want to invest in, and I like the way that I run, and they're in River State, that's what I'm going to do. So if Rivers has three teams, then so be it. Funny thing, that's the way the Amateur League uh, works in Nigeria. So, so be it. Let's not, this National the League, League idea. The Nigerian League will stick to the national system you know, because of politics. Which, 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 I, which I know, but I don't want to speak about. Because exactly. it is an exactly. obvious that should not be. It's, yeah, definitely. So if you have, for example, if you have um, a 20 team league, which is what we have at the moment. And you say every state must be well represented. Some states don't have an interest in football or by just sheer DNA, don't produce enough good footballers. Mm. Right? Or by sheer lack of interest, are just not a football-oriented city. Facilities mm. as well. Do you understand? So, you can say a place like Aquaibon, for example, which is where I come from, highly football-oriented place. So, can we tap into the culture there and create something? Possibly. But you can move on to another state, say, where do you come from? Ocean State. Ocean State. If I go to Ocean State, Ocean State like football. You understand? And they be like, you, maybe, you, you maybe, maybe they like swimming, swimming, swimming more. You be, you then be, you channel your you into, this, into Olympics. This, 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 same thing is cause, <laughs> this same thing is causing problem. What you said now, because Kano Pillars and Katsina United relegated at the same time. Mm. So now they are saying that the, 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 the Northwestern part is not represented on the lot. Like, are, you, are you kidding system. me? Are you yeah, so, so, so now, now, you know, I tweeted something, I tweeted something some time ago. I said, we had the news that Kano Pillars were going to buy a slot yeah. from, uh, what was this guy's yeah, name? Doma, the, uh, Doma United. So I was like, when someone, someone was not, they denied it, but I think it's going to happen. Someone hey. was now saying that, okay, why do they really want to do this? And they came out to say, this northern, northwestern part of Nigeria is not being represented on the log. Mm. And it has, it's a political stuff that it, there has to be representation, Politics. and I'm like, right, right. It's it's, 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 no, it's nonsense, and I don't think we spend a lot, a lot of time on it, <laughs> no, right? It it's absolutely yeah. it's absolute, it's absolute nonsense. Because it a team like Lagos, for example, should be able to have you know four teams if they so desire, if they can fund it properly, and if they can meet the requirements. So the idea that you know we have to do that, um, even even uh, it's, it's, it's slot, absolute, it's absolute nonsense, right? It's absolute rubbish. We're trying to get Femi on here. Um, Femi, uh, incredible Femi, as he likes to call himself. Um, <laughs> Femi is actually incredible. He's one of the guys who um, I, I respect his opinion a lot in the NBA. I thought it would be unwise to speak about the NBA All-Stars and what it represents without having um, Femi on here. So Femi, if you can hear me, you can speak to me back, right? And the moment you speak to me, I'll be able to uh, bring you in, yeah? But let's... Um, Femi, can you hear me? Femi, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Can you great. Hear me? Uh, Femi, I can hear you as well. Um, Femi, you look great. I like the, I like the jacket. Um, Thanks. Thanks. I'm, just, I'm just copying you. I'm coming out to you. <laughs> Femi owns a couple of, um, of basketball um, ideas. Uh, he, 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 he runs that. So it's good to talk to you, Femi, about the All-Stars. I'm sure you've seen the story about um, Todd Bowley's idea, you know, about implementing some of the successful ideas in American sports in 
the Premier League. So I want to speak about the All Stars, for example. Is that something you think is workable with the Premier League format? Yes, I think it is. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, if you ask me, why is that brilliant? You, you, you look at the trend in recent times, the growth of the fantasy Premier League. I think that's just, you know, making fantasy off your screens into reality, right? Uh, so you can imagine um, the kind of impact to do even in the sports betting space as well. Um, in just that, whether it's a one-day event or a two-day event or a three-day event, whatever it is that you know the Premier League wants to create, uh, people talk about the schedule, and it's funny because I don't think there's any league in the world that has a crazier schedule than the NBA. They play it in two regular season games. Great. Uh, hold on, Femi. No, hold on, Femi. Hold on, Femi. To be honest, on this table, we don't care about the money. We, we, let, we let the accountants do the money. We care about the money in that sense, but, you know, I mean, we don't want to bore people, right? <laughs> um, but I wanted to yeah. ask you about, um, I, I, I thought about something while making um, making the show today, and it was about the, the size of, you know, the America and how that, in effect contributed to the way they think about their sports, right? So you have the Western Conference, you have the Eastern Conference, largely down to the fact that it's almost impossible to merge the entire country to play in one single format, right? But also, I thought, I did a quick check on Europe's uh, entire size. And if you overlay the map of America on Europe, you would find that it's almost the same thing, right? So I thought, as opposed to having a... Premier League All Star. Why not have an European All Star Weekend, right? Where you have, for example, all the leagues, top five leagues, have players in that All Star competition. I mean, imagine how incredible it would be to have the Mbappe's flying to, let's say, the Wembley to have an All Star Weekend. So you are converging the entire of Europe's population and TV viewership to one weekend, as opposed to having just another Premier League All-Star thing, no? Well, I, I, I really don't think one takes away from the other. So here's what I mean. Um, yes, we can have an European All-Star um, game. UEFA can organize that. And the EPL can have theirs as well. I'll, I'll go back to the you know, implication of the NBA. The MLB has theirs, which is baseball. American football has. And I understand the geography you're talking about. Uh, in terms of, um, you know, how big the America is, 50 states. But even if you look at how they've been able to map it out, it's not exactly, um, if you look at the map, it's not exactly how it is. There are some teams that are in the West that will probably be in the East. There are some teams that are in the East will probably be in the West. You know, and that's how they designed it. Um, it, it could, it could it not necessarily have to be by geographical demography, right? You could look for another kind of way to just separate these teams without using geography. Whatever it is they want to come up with, they can come up with different formats uh, to just make sure that you know these teams you know are separated into two, or fans have an opportunity to vote for the players that they want, which is one of the new things that the NBA has done. In fact, they've even scrapped that technically. So what they do now is fans will vote for the players they want to see, and the two you know players that have the highest votes will do what we do in Nigeria: how we pick sets. 
you know, I'll pick X, Y, Z to come on my team. And they televised that. Now it's become a show that even fans look forward to seeing. And it's no longer about whether you're in the East or in the West. So you can have LeBron and his teammates in Los Angeles or, you know, a KD being on the same side of the yeah. divide. Yeah. And you're talking about major numbers in terms of viewership across the world. So yeah. I think the EPL can do this. Uh, and then Europe, as UEFA, can also do this. I mean, they have the Europa League, they have the League, um, okay. they have the Conference League, they have the Champions League. So, yeah, why not? Yeah. Christoph Femi, I thought it would be uh, incomplete to speak to uh, about the NBA without speaking to you. You are the uh, foremost NBA person I know in this country, and uh, it's only right that we had your insights on that, right? So, Femi, um, thanks for spending your time. I know you're producing a couple of shows today. We'll talk to you very soon, yeah? Thanks for having me. I don't take your words for granted. You guys are doing an enormous, fantastic job. Good man. Good man. Good man. Right. All right, guys. I'm a man that needs no introduction on this show. It remains the Inside Podcasts. Um, you know, when it comes to talking sport, when it comes to talking football all around the world, you get the best information from this particular podcast. You can always join us online, um, on YouTube, on IG, anywhere online. You can always join. Even on Clubhouse, we're there for you to dish you the best information when it comes to sports all around the world. Stay tuned, always. Cloud. 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 Reach out.